medium Swiss pastry roll. We have 60 grams of uh, sweet dough. We, I roll them out with the machine, approximately eight inches long, about uh, an inch and a half wide. I take some pastry cream. I place some pastry cream on top of that sweet dough. Don't overdo it. A little bit of uh, vanilla sugar for more texture and flavor. Pulling slightly on top, start rolling the dough. Just like a croissant. And place it onto the sheet pan. Just like so. Put it into the proof box for approximately 45 minutes or so. Russian bread individuals. What I have is here, I have 60 grams of sweet dough. I shape them into a rectangle. I take some hazelnut filling. I spread some hazelnut filling on top of that sweet dough. Nice and even over the surface of that dough. I start rolling it towards me, nice and tight that I will get enough rotations, like so. I will cut it with the French knife in half, even portions, place it over a cross and start braiding. Make sure the ends you force it down well, otherwise it will open up. All to the end, either side. Take it and place it onto a sheet pan. They will go into the proof box for approximately 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, before they go into the oven, I will egg wash them lightly and I will bake them. Good. After 45 minutes in the proof box, the Swiss pastry rolls and the individual Russian braided breads. I will take some egg wash and I will lightly egg wash the surface of that sweet roll or Russian bread. I will take a sizzle. I insert the sizzle all the way down to the bottom of the roll and I will cut it. All the way down and cut it. I will take some Swedish uh, sugar pearls and I place it around it as a decor and more sweetness and crunch. And the same thing I do with the individual Russian bread, just along the way. Then we go into the convection oven at 350 degrees for approximately 8 to 10 minutes. I'm looking for a nice golden brown color. And that's how. After being in the oven for 12 minutes, we will glaze them while they're still warm with the clear glaze. The clear glaze I brought to a boil and will I apply this harmony glaze, this clear glaze, over the surface of these danishes. That's a Swiss pastry roll. And then over here I have the braided individual Russian breads. The same thing, right over the surface. I will apply a clear glaze. It gives me a nice finish uh, glaze. It gives me more moisture, longer shelf life. 